wanted about him, and he would just be in hysterics about it, no matter yeah. how much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a kind of an amazing cat. So, um, yeah, I thought I, I I I appreciated him more after watching the uh, the bio. So, and where, where where was the bio? It is called Godfrey. It came out a couple of years ago, and I think I saw it on Hulu. Oh, okay. Um, somebody told me it was on Amazon Prime as well, but um, oh, good. Yeah. Good. What are you yeah. What are you staring up there? These are uh, masks that were sent to us by our origami lady. Oh, and, uh, oh, okay. I should send you one. I'm trying to think of which. They're all different. This here's a. This is a, a mathematical formula mask. I love that. <laughs> She's she sent me with a circuit board one, but I might actually wear the mathematical formula one. <laughs> Anyway, uh, she sent one for everybody in the studio. This is for Salt Hank. It's like a meat tenderizer and a cleaver and a knife. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to you. Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. Releasing the uh, Skype Zoom Discord. Cutting the lights. And inviting everybody to stay tuned for the Gizviz on most hey. of these CBS stations. Good night. Bye. Hey, chat room. So, chat room, uh, let's see. I think you can hear me, correct? They should be able to not hear you and see you now while I push some buttons. Wow. Okay. T.I., hey, hey, mashed potato. Ho, ho. Hey, Becky. Hey, Magoo. Oh, let's see. Where are Let's see. Oh, I put it here to show, and now I buried it and stuff. I got a card, a, a greeting card from, uh, let me see. Uh, you know, I, I put things here to show, and then, oh, here it is. <laughs> I wrote somebody's address on the back of it. Uh-uh, from Magoo. Uh-uh, a very nice Happy Easter card. Uh-uh, and probably giraffes in there. Oh, the when we come back up, I'll show you. This, that's kind of a funny cartoon. Ooh. Business cards. All right, business cards. Coffee pot sale. <laughs> oh, Nestel. Oh, my goodness. When the video comes back up, I'll show you this. This would have been great for the boat. Uh, okay. Okay, there we are. Nostalgia products. I've never seen anything like this. It's like an entire kitchen in one appliance. There's a toaster. Uh, it looks like a toaster oven. It looks like a way on top to keep things warm from the heat of the boiler below. And then I'm not sure what the upside down cup is over the coffee pot but if you want to buy one it's on sale for 120 bucks the three-in-one breakfast station coffee maker griddle oh the top is a griddle <laughs> toaster you know, oven griddle it looks an maker. awful lot like one of those guinness book of world records crazy food cards yes it does it does absolutely and then Magoo sent a cartoon. It's time to meet your maker. Uh, 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 a coffee cup. Talking to another coffee cup. Uh, Magoo, thank you very much. <laughs> Empty Pocket says, just what the Giz Wiz needs. Another coffee maker. Um, uh, all righty. So let's, what's going on, chat room? Uh, hold on a minute. I gotta go turn on the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, very good. Still train free. Wow, seven hundred seventy-two days is more than two years. Do you miss the train at all? Actually, was the train fun, or was it just a dreary commuter train packed with people in thrift stores near you soon? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, Dale Paco is going to be in the Guinness Book of Records. This man has not been on a train for 3,030 days. 
Yeah, Becky, Charlie looks great. That's, what, that's about the Have same little... for me. I, uh, I used to ride the train to work every day before I moved up here to Petaluma. Um, oh, okay. So that was last last I rode it was in April of two thousand nine. So that's was it Caltrain? It would no, it's the Metrolink. Oh, Metrolink, they have nice cars now. Yeah, yeah. from Bombardier, uh, made in Canada. Yeah, bom yeah, Bombardier. Oh, yeah, Bombardier. I always called it Bombardier. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I I I, I called it. Bombardier, but then I believe it's the other because they used to produce outboard motors and at the at a boat show the guy said the name of our company is Bombardier. Well anyway, learn something new every matter. day. No, I watch um I have a thing called Virtual Rail. Um there's a free version of it, but you uh, there's a hundred dollar version where they have about 40 cameras all around the country where you can watch trains all day. And one of them is trained on the San Joaquin train station or something, Capistrano train station. And I always see these Metrolink trains running by. And some of them are really nice. It looks like they were color coordinated at one point. Then they change the color scheme. And then sometimes they mix them. <laughs> yeah, they mix the cars. And it's like, what are you, why is that, why are you putting that gray car with the beautiful streamlined blue cars with the matching stripes and the locomotive matches? So the trains go out of L.A. to the far reaches in the afternoons and evenings. So they they're hang out overnight, like in San Bernardino and Ventura and San Diego, you know. And then in the morning, they all come into L.A. And there's a place where they park them that you can see from the uh, 101 freeway. Great big train uh, yard and train washes they oh they, great. where they wash the you know they drive the trains through these things that where they wash them and you can see it from the freeway oh. and then of course oh, they all go out uh, in the evening and the train yard is empty at night <laughs> did, did they finish the train you know when i was up there was it four years ago they were working oh, on smart yeah the smart train here in uh, yeah. sonoma county yep yep yeah that 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 driving every day and they just uh i saw something where they're adding sunday more trips on Sunday because so of the it's, it's, there is a stop in Petaluma. There are two. Ah, uh, there is one. There's definitely one uh, in downtown Petaluma, and I think they're going to put we we can see the train uh, out our windows here from the uh, East Side Studios. They're behind the buildings on the other side of the street. They're not nearby. We can see them go between the buildings across the street. Um, but my understanding was here at Pengrove, the north end of Petaluma, they were going to make one too. But I don't think they have. So maybe oh, okay. there's a proposed one that they haven't built yet. But there's definitely the okay. one in downtown Petaluma. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I saw them uh, replacing the tracks there. Yeah, yeah. All fresh and new. Good stuff. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we okay. are recording. We are on the stream. Hello, stream. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we're there. Okay. And uh, I have the opening intro ready to play. I've got it potted up. Let me think for a moment about what the day is. This is, uh, oh, yesterday was tax day, right? So today is the day after tax day. So this is the 16th. No, tax day is Monday. I know. Well, you know, traditional tax day, except for the weekend. Oh, and traditional all that. tax so day. So yes. today is the 16th of April in the year of 2022. This is the Giz Fizz for Saturday, April 16th, 2022. And it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt's Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. With the Double Harp Sisters. All right. Does anybody want to be chat room celebrity of the week? It's the crickets, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to do photos from George Davis. Then we're going to do photos from Dick D, but you don't have to caption them. They're just some things I thought were kind of interesting from the uh, car show. And then we're going to do a snappy answer. We're going to play match game. We're going to do uh, something from the Guinness Book of World Records. And maybe even have a beer commercial or two. Um, All right, so let's begin with photos from George Davis that you caption. Okay, photo number one. Uh, It is four yellow balls, sad, smiling, angry, and depressed. Okay, four yellow balls with four different emotions on them. Uh, um, Let's see. um, Wow, the chat room's slow today. My emojis have come to life. This (laughs) chicken said, this is what it's like when I ask my wife how she's feeling. We're focusing on happiness today. Uh, Be moods for today. All the moods of a ping pong, of a ping ball. One of these balls is not like the other. Can you tell which one? We have a ball for that. Uh, Barber Shop Quartet, where only one gets it right. The four seasons of my life. Ping pong pessimists. Four cue balls of the apocalypse. So that's funny. (laughs) What did the happy one do to the other three? One happy three said... I second those emotions. Twitter board of directors' feelings toward Elron Musk. Uh, oh, this is good. Empty pockets. Updated version of Hear No Evil, See No Evil, Speak No Evil. Uh, Vancouver Com Loops. Uh, not sure. Um, the first one is a Gizwiz mustache. If you squint in, in with your eyes, they'll all be in focus. Cycles of life. Only Smiley made it big. Let's focus on happiness. Are you happy? What should you do with your stocks today? Let's check Moody's. You should look at these with 3D glasses on. The emoticon in the middle. Oh, that's funny. Um, guess which one is the beer pong participant? Is evil the second one? Second one from the left is on Prozac. And we'll end with Rufus. I can guess which one got the good Easter egg. All right, George said, for four yellow balls with one smiling, my caption is, the three of you that are frowning, I'm guessing you lost the lottery, right? Okay, okay. (laughs) Photo two. This must be mood day with George. Uh, This is an unhappy cat. Just one cat saying, I dare you. Okay, unhappy cat is what I'll call that. If you are just doing the audio version. Go ahead, make my day. That's not real tuna. I'll get you next time, bird. I hear a lot of tapping. Pet me one more time. Feed me now. (laughs) My name is Grumpy. Catterday, bloody Catterday. This is my... (laughs) Caesar said, and this is my happy face. I said salmon, not fish sticks. I got fed tofu chicken. Me, a mad cat uh, emoji, grumpy cat. Have you looked in your shoe? This is the cat that ate the angry bull. Uh, Sylvester's still trying to get Tweety. Uh, hey, I can play grumpy cat too. Inkwell, a little too close. Sorry. Kibbles and bits, really? Only badminton birds? What do you mean you ran out of treats? I hear vet. I said organic wet food. I'm a cat, not a vegetarian. 
I knew Morris. He was a wimp. Bit off more than he could pen. Grumpy Cat had nothing on this cat. Space Cat. Space next to cat. Charlie Who, I'm fed up with you. Oh my God, Chad Cat in the morning. Tweety said, what? And Coop says, what did you get? What did you get, a dog? All right. All right, George said, for the cat with a sad face, my caption is, let me guess, you also lost at the lottery, right? Okay, and photo three is, uh, we're looking at a dot board from the side. We can see dots in the board, and all the dots have decorated tail feathers or decorated tail something. Dots in a dot board, we're seeing them from the side. Cluster jots. Mood dots, dot that. Flights, 140. And we have a winner staying on target. Fail target logo campaign. Competitive game, dot in the middle. Bullseye, Myra says, I pick my lottery numbers with this, my lotto numbers. Put your hand here, disco dots. Don't sit on the cactus. My dot dotted out of the picture. I lost. The target is on the other wall. <laughs> That's funny. How they choose the name Meta. And we'll end with... This one seems kind of hard for the chat room. How I fix... <laughs> how I fix six small leaks. Um... George said for dots on a high, oh, on a high dot board. My caption is, we're having to fly in three judges to make a ruling on this championship game. Okay. So, Dick, Photo I, was, four. I, I, I have some darts. Uh, it's been a while since, you know, I've played darts. But we, we bought darts and we had a dart board and we had a lot of fun. And I was just looking at some darts. You know, if you were to buy darts, and boy, oh boy, this is crazy stuff. Oh, look at this. What? Look at these. Uh, is this what? like per dart? Is this like, I mean, you get, they come in a set of three, I think. So you, 215 $200 for three darts? That's crazy. What are you kidding me? And where are these? Are we on a dart website or yeah, Amazon? Darts.com. Oh my God! Yeah, I, I I remember paying like twenty or thirty dollars for my darts, a set of three. But boy, there's some expensive darts out there. <laughs> anyway, sorry to interrupt. No. Who knew? Um, so they don't use feathers anymore. Okay. Um, okay. Caption uh, that was uh, three. Uh, photo four. Amazon has darts for forty bucks. Uh, we're looking at wood blocks, and on a set of wood blocks <clears throat> that, ha <clears throat> that has letters, the letters spell positive. Okay, small wooden blocks. Scabble, Scrabble squares. This is a, they, uh, those are they numbers, Yeah, those numbers are the points you get in Scrabble. Oh, okay. And they have, I thought Scrabble squares had designs on the back. No. no. Okay. Uh, sorry, Scrabble squares. Face down, but we have the word positive face up. Uh, oh, Scrabble tiles that lie. NFT dots. Piecing together a positive mood. Uh, someone found dots of 15 bucks. Always look and be positive. Uh, at least I'm not negative, getting negative points. <laughs> Dale Paco found dots for $4.00. On AliExpress, I'm positive these tiles are blank. The only time you're positive in the game of Scrabble, I can't see the negative. I'm pretty sure what this spells. I'm positive I will lose. 
I hope this new COVID test is accurate. Oh, that's funny. Knox Harrington. Are you sure positive? Uh, are you sure it's the left post? Positive rises to the top. So the game is missing the letter Q and T. 13 points for positive. I hate playing Scrabble against optimists. This is what I saw when I went to the doctor's office after my COVID test. Time to quarantine again. Firewood, it's a false positive. I question this because it's worth more points. Triple score, triple word score. Don't be a square. Believe it or not, I just tossed this on the table and they came up that way. Mortron cannot guess their problem. Can't spell positive without pi. <laughs> that's, that's good. I'm positive 13. Uh, Tech Dino said, this is a way to share your COVID test result. He said, be positive, but it wasn't worth much. Another, another, uh, Jay Mez also says, point value should be higher. I'm pessimistic about getting a double score word. And we'll end with Caesar saying, are you trying to tell me something about my pregnancy test? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, um. George said, for the word positive showing on a Scrabble game, my caption is, with your eyes closed... Can you guess what word it is? It's the opposite of negative. Think about it. Okay, photo five is... Are they daisies? Uh, let's see. There, there are put. daisies, but there's a bunch of other stuff too. Oh, uh, we'll go the safe way. Joy says, feel, feel the flowers. For the field of flowers, they are whatever you want to be. If you're just listening, it's a close-up of flowers in a field of flowers. Um, he loves me. He loves me not. Tiptoe through the tulips. Allergy farm. She loves me. This picture is brought to you by Claritin. I found the four-leaf clover. Bee, bees field of glory. Uh, allergy and three, two, one. It's amazing what a little water can do. Achoo! Please donate the daisies. Wild flowers in bloom. Flower power. Don't eat the daisies. Get out the sniff test. Everything's coming up, daisies. Please don't pick the daisies. Second time. Allergy amusement park. Get over here, daisies. Where be the bees? Spring Fever Fest. Uh, there are some poppies. Have nice weed. You have nice weeds. I'm going to pick a pocket full of posies. Tiptoe through the neighbor's lawn after my cat pooped there. Are you positive these are flowers? Such pretty thistles. Where's Tinkerbell? Found Waldo. Looks like my lawn. I mowed it. And we'll end with driving Miss Daisy through the daisy field. Uh, George said, for the field full of flowers, my caption is, one word describes this view, beautiful. Okay, photo six is, oh, okay, the Whirlpool jet boat. Making a sharp turn. Uh, I've been on the New York version of this. Okay, it's a speedboat that takes a lot of tourists out at one time. Okay. And they're usually jet drive, so they avoid hitting lumber. <laughs> It doesn't. So in the Hudson, it used to be in the Hudson you used to be able to hit logs and telephone poles, but the Hudson's been pretty good lately. Um, okay, it's a whirlpool. Whirlpool. I'll have to go to the bathroom now. Do you want to go faster? Scott Wilkinson, did you forget your keys? Turn right, Clyde. The seats will be brown. Whirlpool washer for people. 
says Dale Paco. That's clever. Are you sure this is the Staten Island Ferry? Wait, we lost a lot. We lost a passenger. Well, now you don't have to use the restroom. Amusement ride and get wet. When you said cruise, this wasn't I had in mind. This is number six. What happened to the other five? Here come the humans. Fossil fuel going nowhere. Spin cycles. Extreme boat skiing. Don't get me wet. Who'll toss their cookies first? Let's make a whirlpool and sink. You won't forget it. Tossing passengers and their cookies into stage right. Drift on the Maid of the Mist. My other boat is the Sears Jet and we'll end with Sal Goff. SD Giz Wiz New Boat. Okay, George said for a red boat making a sharp uh, right turn. Yikes, I wouldn't have believed this boat could have turned in such a short radius. Um, I had a jet boat. I think I told you. I had a jet boat with uh, 1,100 horsepower. Um, a twin 550 horsepower flagship Berkeley Jets. And we stopped running at full speed when I did a turn like that and put my co-pilot <laughs> through the cabin door, <laughs> which was closed at the time. I must <laughs> say it was, a, it was a louvered cabin door, so it didn't hurt that much, okay? Um... But the great thing about a jet boat is you can get going. My my racing craft was an 18-foot boat, also with a 550-horsepower engine. Just uh, one? And just one. <laughs> and with that boat, you could it, the top was 72 miles an hour, and you could just go into reverse. The engine, the en- what did the engine care? Okay, <laughs> because it's just a bucket falling over the. Uh, the jet drive, and the boat would just go wah, wah, bow into the water, and then wah, backwards. Wow. Um, I, I had some weird boats in my time. Uh, facts. Okay, George, oh, we always have bonus facts from George. Facts about water. It takes 6,800 gallons of water to grow food for a day for a family of four. That sounds like that sounds like one of the questions we ask. Um, oh, you know what, George? Let's 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 play this as one of the I'm not saying you're stupid. What percentage of all fresh water on earth is locked up in glaciers, so it's frozen, okay? What percentage of all fresh water on Earth is frozen in glaciers? 87%? What percent of all fresh water? You know, I have an idea that the number's dwindling when you see those things of icebergs turning into ice cubes. Not enough, apparently. <laughs> wow, it's way up there. It's way up there. Uh, I'm doing 60%. Hey, Myra? that's what I was going to say. Myra's up to 87. I, Jim, I, 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 doing... I, I, I'm going to go 70. Since you, I was going to go 60, but I'm going 70 since you picked 60. 70, okay. Uh, I don't know what you were talking. Um, oh! What was your answer? 87. 87. Doug in uh, MN. What is that? Minnesota. Minnesota. Jammer B, you you guys are very close. 68.7% of all fresh water on Earth is locked up in glaciers. Interesting. Um, Oh! (laughs) This is even more depressing. Wait a minute. You know, we'll play this one, too. This is because I assume it includes all oceans. I'm assuming. What percentage of the world's water 
is salty and undrinkable. So that's why I'm saying it must include the ocean. Actually, a more depressing way would be what percentage of water on Earth is drinkable? <laughs> why don't we play? Why don't we play? Uh, no, let's do this. Let's do it this way. Uh, what percentage of the world's water is salty and undrinkable? And I have to bow out because in looking down that time, I saw the answer. Wow, people are going very wow. Myra? 93. 90? 93. 93. Jamma B, what percentage of the Earth's water is salty and undrinkable? 85. 85. <laughs> Almost 97% of the world's... That's a lot of salty water. That's a lot. Well, uh, that's why I'm saying it's got to be the oceans. George, that's fascinating stuff. Uh, wishing everyone a happy Easter tomorrow. Enjoy the day. Stay happy. See you next time. Bye, George. George, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so you don't have to caption these. I'm going to do some photos I saw at the boat at the boat show at the auto show, and Jammer B particularly likes two of them. I don't know what order they were in, so we can just. Show them, and I'll say what they are. Ah, uh, Jammer B, you want to make the announcement about this? Uh, I have an announcement to make furthering this. You may start, and then I'll tell you what I am excited about. Okay. This is new from Volkswagen. According to the company, it is already for sale. It's, it's the electric bug, okay? Uh, ID Van. buzz. And according to the company... The models are already on the road in Europe, but Volkswagen said they don't expect to see them in the U.S. till next year. And then I have a shot of it uh, open. Kind of interesting, the front door open opens and the side door slides. Maybe all cars are that way, I'm not sure. But uh, A lot of vans are like that, yeah. Yeah. The thing I, I love... Uh, about electric cars now that I've looked at dozens of them is the flat floors are just great and and the it's interesting because a lot of electric cars just have huge cabins and then a lot of electric cars I guess because people want it still have that console in the middle so that you can put your coffee cup on it and your phone and have a charging station uh, so you you're you have an order in for one of those Jamma B I don't have an order in, um, but I am excited about getting a van, electric van from Volkswagen. I've always had Volkswagen. It's been my car. And that's the ID Buzz. You know, they, they're selling the ID4 now as their electric sedan. They have an ID6, a more premium electric sedan. But ID Buzz is the name of that van. But there's an ID California coming. Oh. It's going to be the camper van. That's what oh, I really man. want. I want something I can sleep in. So ID California coming 2024 or so uh, is oh, the camper okay. van. And hopefully by then I'll be in a situation where I can uh, have an electric car. Right now I park my car in the street, so I can't really have an electric car because I can't charge it. And have they given an idea of a price range for the one that's going to be available in 2023? Uh, yeah, but I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> That's okay. I think it was like uh, entry around 40, 40 to 60. Yeah, okay. That seemed to be the, the entry level at, at, uh, at the auto show. Anybody? <laughs> yes. It was either 40 or 42, and it went up into 65 or... Anyway. Okay, next picture. Is not a car I would buy, simply because I would not physically be able to get in and or out of it. Oh, okay. So, chat room. This is another uh, uh, game. What car is this? Okay. So, chat room, what car is it? Because I know we have a lot of car fans. What make is this car? Uh, uh, uh. No, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Looks like a fried egg, the new Batmobile. Oh, my goodness. 
the canary car, a Porsche, no one has it. Well, you know, it's, it's clearly cool. a TRW. All right? No. No? It's Lotus. It says TRW on it. Corvette for a BMW? Yeah, no. See, it's a TRW. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's probably the model. All right, before, before I say it, uh, okay, uh, all right, the, Brian, QR, Brian yeah. W. Grab the QR code. Brian, I'm sure we can figure it out from the QR code. Brian got it. It is a Jaguar. Ooh. And now, what year? What year Jaguar is this? Chat room, the year, 2022. <laughs> 2077, 2023. Uh, that isn't 2022, that first one you read. <laughs> it's 2200. Oh, we're 2200. Okay. 2025, 1920, 2015, 2024. Jeremy, any guess? I would say 2024. Uh, okay. The closest one is Demos. It is a 1991 Whoa. Jaguar. Wow! It is the XJR15. Clearly not electric. World's first carbon fiber road car. Interesting, eh? And... I wouldn't have to play for this. There are 28 of them in existence. And this is one of the three yellow cars that is still around. Okay. So that's kind of fun. Uh, okay. Uh, the other photos. Oh, <laughs> all right. So Doc Go is a company that builds ambulance. They have a, it's a big health service. And I didn't know what this was. And I said to the guy, does that thing fly? And he said, well, one day we hope to make one of them fly. Uh, but it's the, the go anywhere. And I, I guess it's the ambulance that can go where the other ambulances can't go. And so it's just a concept ambulance uh, from Doc Go. Okay. And... Oh, this is kind of interesting, is the first first car show where they had a test track for electric bikes and, and electric scooters. It was very interesting, is there were far less cars available uh, on exhibit, and the convention center just added a million square feet. So to fill the space up, a lot of car companies had a test track in their booth. So if you went <laughs> to the Ford booth, you could pick out a Ford car and run it around the booth uh, on its own test track. So that was kind of fun. Um, okay, next. Oh, this was great. This was just a mobility um, display. Some really, uh, I, I think some great looking wheelchairs. Uh, the thing in the back with the orange basket at the bottom is just a way to, I guess for hotels, deliver packages and deliver food. And that is a really high-tech wheelchair over there in hey, the Dick, corner. I got to yeah. go answer that. Somebody's at the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so wait for me. Okay, very good. Well, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll play a question while uh, Jamma B is away. Or I can answer questions. Uh, grandma racing around Walmart, Segway wheelchair. Who makes it? Radio flyer. Didn't know the scooter from Muppets is electric. Here's where we wait for John. I think it's here. Here's where we wait for John. Um, oh, Alec is at the door. That would be fun. <laughs> Stay at a grandma's way. Icebox on wheels. Has anybody been in one of those hotels? Um, I was in, I, was it the Marriott? Where I saw one of those things go down the hall. You know, 
you order something from the front desk, you need more towels, and they tell you that when your phone rings, go to the door because there's a robot outside your door with your towels. Haven't been in a hotel in 20 years, says Eric Duckman. Yeah, the robots. Anybody been in a, ho- in a robot hotel? We got one more picture, Dick. Okay, very good. Oh, this is this is that car that I talked about with Leo. Okay, so so notice the driver has that little dinky. It looks like an iPad, but she said no, that's hardwired in. I don't know why. I mean, they could just make it so you drop it in and the contacts uh, uh, connect. But it was kind of fun because the passenger gets two flat screens. So that, and I don't, I don't quite get the point of this. The woman said, this car is designed so that you leave the office, you get in your car, and you can pick up your work exactly the way you left it when you walked out of the office. I mean, who wants to do that? Um, but anyway, I thought it was interesting that there was, this is also the same car that said there are VR headsets available in the back seat. And that when you play video games, what the car is doing, the video game mimics that in whatever game you're playing, assuming you're playing it through their software, and that this is a way that people don't get sick, is what they said. Um, So I thought it was interesting that there's every conceivable way to involve the passengers, but not the driver, which I guess is a good thing. Um, Okay, we'll go on with Logo. Ta-da! Some logo. Uh, uh, um. I heard. On with logo. Sorry, I can't show you pictures. I don't have a screen. Did you see Alexa? No. That is so funny. Was it, that wasn't Siri, was it? No, it was. It was Google. Did you hear that? She said, "I'm sorry, I don't have any questions." Uh, anyway. Um. What local media company with a ghost logo had its public first public offering in 2017? Boy, I don't know this. What social media company with a ghost logo held its first public meeting in 2017? MySpace, <laughs> Crap Chat, Faceless, Ghost Chat, Snappy Chat, Snap Hat. That's very, Snap Hat is very funny. iBusters, Prodigy. Myra, you didn't know, right? Not a clue. Discord, Friend Face, Afterlife, Taylor's Funeral Home. Jamma B, do you have an answer? I do not. Um, Ghostbusters? No. Uh, it is indeed, many of you have it, it is indeed, sorry, Snapchat. Oh, Austin uh, Kutcher was the first person to reach a million followers on what social platform? Austin Kutcher was the first to reach one million followers on what social platform? (laughs) MySpace. MySpace uh, hasn't reached a million people yet. Um, Twitter, he passed Leo. He surpasses Leo as the most popular. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Leo is upset by that? Leo uh, Leo has a million followers? Kucha? It is indeed Twitter. All right. <laughs> what was the original name of the Twitter bird? Boy, does anybody know this? They give you four choices, but I'm going to just ask. Not <laughs> Tweety. What was the original name of the Twitter bird? Oh, okay. All right. I'll give you the choices. 
Which of these four was the original name of the Twitter bird? Larry, Gary, Barry, or Harry? The Twitter bird was originally called Larry, Gary, Barry, or Harry. Gary, Gary, Larry. Oh, it's all over the place. I have no idea. You, Myra? No. Jammer B, any idea? Jammer B, go to the door again? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still answering the door. Okay. Uh, it's Larry. Um, what message, what messaging app with a green logo was bought by Facebook? What message, messaging app with a green logo was bought by Facebook? Oh, and his brother, Daryl. Wow, no one knows this. What's that? What's that? Uh, uh, actually, everybody knows this. <laughs> okay. It is WhatsApp. All right. All right. We'll do one more logo. Let's see where we are. Okay. Uh, um, right, we're going to do one, uh, one more card. Oh, okay. What tape... Adhesive tape shares its name with the world's largest primate. What adhesive tape shares its name with the world's largest primate? I never saw the scotch at the zoo. You got that? I think it's gorilla. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> It is. Gorilla. Uh, what does the people's car translate to in German? I know that. <laughs> Buzz. That's that's why I that's why I, I asked it. What does people's car translate to in German? <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did Armani, what did the Armani Fashion House stop using in all of its collections in 2016? What did Armani Fashions stop using in all of their collections in 2016. <laughs> Doug says style. <laughs> Not, sorry, polyester. <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> Affordable clothes. These are very funny. Uh, gorillas. Common sense spandex. Pleather. None minimum wage work is spandex. Burlap. It is indeed Jammer B. Do you know? Uh, I think there's somebody at the door. Okay. Again, he's using that excuse. Myra? Fur. Fur. It is indeed fur. Also, um, I worked a, a summer with Bob Barker, uh, who's a big animal uh, person. And he told me that he was the one that got prices right to stop giving away furs because prices white prices right was the number one daytime show and he said it was easy because they liked me up there and i called mark and i said mark tell marketing that no more furs and if you need clout i'm leaving the show if they do any furs so he got that Good for uh, him. Passed really fast. Uh, okay, so we'll do. We're gonna do. We'll do one Al Jaffe thing, and then we'll play match game. Uh, okay, this is this one's kind of funny. Okay, it's a waiting room. Okay, and 
the man is saying, is there anyone ahead of me? Okay, and every single chair in the waiting room has somebody in it, and most of them, you know, someone has a knife through them, a construction worker has a steel beam through him. Oh, so um, it's a Halloween there, costume party waiting room. Uh, sort of, yeah, that could be. Um, anyway, is there anyone ahead of me, he asked the nurse. Uh, yes, take a ticket. I'd like the patient with I like the patient with the beam through him. Guess a number. No, these people are just loitering. No, this is everybody from last night. Oh, that's very good. Uh, no, you're first place at the end of the line. No, you already have a head. No, you have your head already. No, they're auditioning for cabaret. Yeah, that guy with the beam, I'm pretty sure. No, you're next in chair. No, the doctor the doctors are waiting for you. Only if you are for here for a visit tomorrow. There's no waiting for a dinner table. Only if you're a chair holder. Looks like you still have your head. Take a seat. No, everyone died. This is the blood depository. No, you're our millionth patient. They're here to congratulate you. No, the folks here are entering a freak show. Uh, he's beamed through it. You need a reservation? No, those patients... Oh, those are all the patients the doctor failed to save. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, your stupidity is the most life-threatening thing here. And we'll end with it depends. How much money do you have? All right, Al Jaffe's... <laughs> Al Jaffe's answer to, is there anyone uh, here ahead of me? No, everyone here is just here to read the magazines. Uh, not if they all die before the doctor gets to them. <clears throat> oh, and a direct match. No, not if your appointment is for tomorrow. Then, -da okay, so we're going to do some match game. Oh, you call Alex, I'll call Dennis. Okay. What should I call him? Um, call him Gumpel. Hey, Gumpel. Old Gumpel. Old Gumple. All right. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, John wished his blank was shorter. John wished his blank was shorter. Oh, no one's going to match me now. John wished his temper was shorter. Oh, see, <laughs> CBS receipt is very funny. Oh, prison sentence is great. Tongue, COVID symptoms, phone cord, girlfriend, medical bill. That's good. Parole. Oh, parole is good, too. Um, Alex is with us. John, is Alex with us? Uh, checking. Okay, checking now. Okay, All right, we'll start with Myra. John wished his blank was shorter. Oh, John wished his last name was shorter. I don't think I got any matches either. John wished his tax form was shorter. <laughs> he just realized that he for listening didn't to get him. Um. <laughs> Hi there. Thanks for listening to Twit. The time is now. The time is now. 2 a.m. 
Congo. There's something going on over here. Belgian Congo, the home of the Jungle Telegraph. We'd like to say hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's, it's weird over here. There's somebody at the door. Okay. Um, is it my turn? Yes. I. John wishes his blank was shorter. Uh, the, the buttons aren't working. Oh, no. So, I, I can't. I can't. Here, hold on. Oh. 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 Now, now, now I can give my answer. I forgot how to oh. say that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what a great surprise. That's great. Yeah. It's very funny because two or three people said, I wonder if it's Alex at the door. <laughs> no. Alex, what's your answer? Hat. He wishes hat was shorter? Like Lincoln. Okay. I'm thinking presidential. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's <laughs> great. Uh, uh, um, yeah, he sat on the sound effects machine. Oh, that, okay. Okay. Uh, Harriet said, there's something wrong with this perfume. I bought it to attract men. It just seems to attract blank. Harriet said, something's wrong with this perfume. I bought it to attract men. It just <laughs> Charlie is crazed. Um, uh, okay, I got a match, yay. Oh, lawyers, that's funny. It just seems to attack to a women, ex-husbands, seems to attract lawyers, accountants, unemployed men, mice, roaches. Okay. Or it said this perfume doesn't work on me when I put it on. It doesn't attract men. It seems to attract. Jamma B, you said. Geiger counters? Alex doesn't attract men. It attracts bees. Okay. Um, I said it attracts flies. I got a match. I know I got one match. And Myra said, it attracts dogs. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, <laughs> the psychiatrist said to call. Nothing wrong with that. People will put ketchup on everything. And Carl said, yeah, but I put ketchup on blank. Oh, on my blank. Okay. Psychiatrist said to call, don't worry. People put ketchup on everything. And call said, yeah, but I put ketchup on my blank. Okay. On my car seat. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we need really w <clears throat> French food. Steering wheel. There you go. <clears throat> I put ketchup on my tomatoes, on my pie, on pancakes, on my cat, on my spaghetti, on my yellow Ferrari, on my corpse. Wow. Hot dogs. Actually, I know people put ketchup on hot dogs. I put ketchup on my ketchup. Cartoon, cartoon says, I put ketchup on my tax return. Um, okay, we'll start with Myra. Nothing wrong with putting ketchup on ketchup on everything. Yes, but Doc, I put ketchup on my ice cream. That's a good answer. Uh, nothing wrong with that, Doc. Yeah, but I put ketchup on my head. Mm. No, I didn't get any answers. Jammer B. 
Yes, but I put ketchup on my spreadsheets. Mm. Okay. And Alex, I put ketchup on my wiener dog. You got a match. A lot of people said Frankfurters. Okay. Uh, Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his blank. Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his things. Ma, Ma, Mars Worm says ketchup ice cream is a thing. All right, I expect... Oh, Jamie B, can you play that little video? D does that play? Yeah, I can play that. I'll play it now. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, when, after yeah. this question. What are we up to? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, Alex, we're going to start with you. Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his blank. Uh, we're running behind. Start somewhere else. Okay. Well, it takes two of you to write one card. Uh, okay, Myra. Oh, Myra said fly swatter. You match K Woods uh, right uh, right off the bat. And I said Grandma Jones chased Grandma Jones with his. I got a match wheelchair, toad sloth. Someone else <laughs> with his dentures in his hand, with his cod uh, cattle prod with his banjo, with his ear horn, with his copy of the will, the vining rod. Okay, Jamma B, Grandpa Jones, Chase Grandma Jones with his... I'm not answering. I, I don't think it's a fair question. But Alex has an answer. Uh, go ahead. Dongle. Okay, that's that's all right. That's all right. Um, okay, we're going to just run a little forty-second video of Charlie on his way to the groomer this morning, and then we'll see what he looks like now. Mm -mm -mm. And we do call him Sir Wags a lot, thanks to the chat room. Sir Wags a lot is looking for the doorway. Charlie, here you go, Charlie. Come on, look, 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 look. And now he says, "Oh, there's the door. There's the door." And now I don't want to go in. And now I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute. No. 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 Come on, Charlie. Come go, on. go, 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 go. Get me out of here. They're going to clip me. I can't stand it. I can't. I, I need out. Okay. Okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, three hours later, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. I'll be here. Come on. Okay. So Wags a lot is looking for the doorway. Charlie, here you go, Charlie. Come on, look, 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 look. Okay. All right. And now he says, "Oh, there's the door." Look at this boy. Look at this boy. And now I don't want to go in. And now let me get out of here. Hang on, Charlie. I, I bought a snack. Look, Charlie, you want this? You want that? It's a snack from the go go go. go, go. One last chance, I can't stand it. I can't, I, I need out. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you look great. Look at that, look at that. Look at this. So Wags a lot is tail. looking for the doorway. Oh, I know, Charlie. Uh, you sit, uh, here you go, Charlie, come on. Look, 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 look. 
This is one happy boy. And now he says, oh, there's the door, there's the door. And now I don't want... Now let me... Oh, that was great. So chat room, I hope you guys have a, a great holiday. It's everybody's holiday this weekend, right? Passover and Easter. Right? Passover, Easter, and there's a third thing. I forgot what it is. But yeah, I always celebrate uh, Tax Day. What do we What do we spell, celebrating? Tax Day. Oh, okay. Internal Revenue. Well, I don't celebrate that. Anyway. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this has been regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. There you go, Charlie. Come on. Look, look, look. This video keeps looping. I don't know what I'm going to do. And now he says, oh, there's the door. There's Okay, we got the video out of here. Can there you not are, stop no? that? Get, get Alex to stop it. Uh Regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderlin, Myra Joyce, Beatmaster, Adam24, Waldorf, Eric Duckman, Mike B, Jay Mez, Becky, Magoo, Scooter X, Bill in Michigan, Chickenhead, Welsh Lad, Caesar, Demos, Mandy the Clown, Giz One, Stude, Chicago, Tim, Travis Mack, and they're going so fast, Kay Woods, and N4B, Roberto Hellman, Becky, Craig, and PDP11, Johnny Monday and Cartoon Steve, brought to you by Turtle Wax. I've been closed down by Alex. Well done, Alex. I. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, chat room. Okay, everybody. Thank you, Alex. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. And hello, everybody. <laughs> Look, there's Alex. <laughs> <laughs>